Good evening! Wow, I'm recording in the evening. That's a little weird. But, uh, anyway, Groovy Speedy back with another Sims 4 house build. Um, so, as you can see, I have <laughs> done most of the house, uh, previously before recording again. Because I just got city living. Obviously, I'm not building an apartment right now. Because city living isn't really working for me right now. It's not working in life mode. I haven't really tried in build mode yet, but I promise that I will. Uh, so this house is, I really love it. It just, it turned out so well. It turned out really, really well. And uh, I showed it to another uh, friend of mine, another YouTuber friend of mine, uh, Kat from Catzilla Gaming. She really, really liked it, and it really made me feel a lot better about it, knowing that, you know, someone who I look, who I look up to as a house builder really liked it, so that made me day. Thank you, Kat. Um, anyway, so as you can see, I'm trying to figure out where things are going, but you can see that I placed, uh, furniture, like the fridge and couch where I want them to be. And there's like two long pauses, but I did edit out the second one. Um, the first pause is because I'm looking for these wall dividers that come in the game. And I couldn't find them. Like, I, it took me so long to find them. But, um, I ended up finding them. And I put them in the master bedroom. And I, I really adore this basketball court flooring. Like, I put it everywhere, as you can see. And, um... I do have several more ideas for this pack, or for this expansion pack, because you can make literally just a crap house, like, because they have really, um, low quality, like, um, furniture, or not furniture, like, um, like, fridges and things like that, so I'm pretty, I'm kind of planning on starting, or building, like, a really just poor looking, well, not that poor looking, but a starter home, you know? Because the starter homes, like the ones that are just like pre-built in the game, they're always like not very good because it's a starter home. It's supposed to be cheap. So I plan on doing that. I plan on doing you know, hopefully an apartment build really soon. Um, I would really like to do that. But um, I, those three roofs, the three pointy roofs out front do not stay if I don't, I do not do that on screen and do it off screen. I do um, a few things off screen. I don't really remember what they are. I think I do some landscaping off screen. Um, but yeah. Here's the kitchen and I love that I put the uh, I always call them poles. But they're not called poles. Um, but I put them there because I think they look nice and I really like the balance between traditional and modern in this house, it's kind of, I wasn't even really trying to go for that, I just kind of did it. <laughs> um, and here, I was trying to put in that fuzzy rug, and I really like it, but I think I'm going to use that in like a different build, and I was going to use this rug, but um, it was just too big, and I, I really wanted to use it, but I just, it was just too big. But yeah, so you know, I took advantage of using pretty much a whole bunch of city living items so if you don't have that I'm sorry um, but if you have like get together and a few other things I, um, those are I did use some get together stuff in here um, I think this is really sorry yawning in the middle of recording it's actually pretty late here it's about 10 30 when I'm doing this, and you guys want to see this till tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I really love how the kitchen turned out. I like that I use like darks, and I use some brick as a backsplash. Not, yeah, so much as a backsplash, I guess, or like an accent wall or something like that. Um, I like the blue chairs that I put in. I love those chairs, those are super cute. And I'm not sure that I like the living room. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. I think it's putting me off as these uh, illuminated, like, uh, pillars, like, that you'll see those in just a second, um, but I, I'm not sure about these couches either, like, I like them, but I don't like them, 
was actually kind of disappointed with some of the stuff in this pack. Like, we only got one new window that I saw, and that was really irritating. <laughs> I was like, I was looking forward to new windows. But I really like um, these end tables. Like, those are super cute. Who would not want those? I want those. I want those in my house. <laughs> And I really took advantage of those like flower candle things that I put on top of the end table. I'm thinking of using those in my backyard um, in another build. And I like this bookshelf because you can put things on different levels besides the top, and that really makes me happy. That that shows that we're uh, the EA is advancing in uh, the content. <laughs> but here, yeah, here's the um. And with, like the light up pillars, and I'm not sure that they go. Like, what do you guys think? Also, I'd love to see what you guys want me to build next. Like, I don't have a whole bunch of uh, stuff packs and game packs and things like that. I do have some, and I'll do what I can. But I want to know what you guys want me to do. Like, what kind of house do you want me to build? What kind of apartment do you want to see? Um, unfortunately, I can't really do let's plays. And stuff right now. I can probably do like a cast video if you wanted me to. Um, like if you wanted me to like make a certain person or um, have me like upload sims that I make to the gallery I've done that before. Um, but yeah, this house is also on the gallery by the way. Um, just uh, use hashtag. Passion, which is what I call this house, or hashtag Gracefees, or hashtag City Living, which I'm sure City Living is a very popular hashtag in the gallery, so <laughs> um, I, you probably just want to use the first two. And I will I will always put that info in the description and at the end of the video if you're familiar with my videos. And I really enjoy this bathroom. Like, I don't know why, I just really, really love how it turned out. Um, I love how the master bedroom turned out too, but I think my favorite bedroom is the one with like this flower petal rug that I've brought up before that I just really, really love. Um, I wish I could have done more of it and like added more to the room, but it was just really, it was kind of small, so, um, it's nothing too special. But yeah, here I just wanted to like fill up this foyer, I guess you would call it, and I put in like this little seating area, and I, you won't see in here, I don't think, that I put in upstairs, um, a chest table and an easel, and just some plants, just to fill up the like little extra spaces and, um, you know, corners and things like that, but I did pay attention to putting in more artwork, because I do, they have new uh, paintings and posters doing with that in The Sims or in City Living, and I really like them. So, in here is a room I was just talking about with a flower petal rug. I really, really love it. I think I like the bed the most. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do put curtains behind it and like these lights. I really like the these lights, like these, I don't know, dark tape through the lights. They have a few other ones that are different looking throughout the game. Um, I think there's some from Get Together as well, and I really like them. Like, they're so creative. Um, good job, Sims Team. But anyway, I really like this mirrored, like, wall divider rug that I put in. It's just so cute. And I really like this, like, wall light fixture, and I'm sure it's gonna come in handy in a different build. I kinda have, like, an idea of how to use it. Um, but yeah. I do like this room, I just like, like I said, I wish I could have added more to it. And that's, that's like my only complaint. <laughs> um, I, it's kind of like, it is a girly room, I do do another girly room, and I really, really love the bed I put in there. I just really love it. And I put closets in every single bedroom. And this room is also pretty bland, meaning I also didn't put a whole bunch in it to the small size of the room and uh, I did try to put more stuff in it. I mean, I just was having issues trying to make it work 
and I didn't want it to look stupid. And you, know, you guys have to have move things around. And if you get this house on the gallery, um, and you know, uncluttered rooms, uncluttered houses aren't so bad. I mean, sometimes it's really nice. Um, I do think, uh, I do think adding detail is important though. Um, Sim proved does a really, really awesome job with adding detail to her builds. If you don't know her, check her out. Go to her channel, like, right after you watch this video, go to her channel, Sim Proved. I will put it in the description. Just, just go check her out. She is amazing. Uh, you, you'll love her. Um, but yeah, here it is. Yes, this is the master bedroom. And I love these canopy beds. Oh my god. <laughs> They're gonna be, I think they'll be used a little bit too much in my new builds. Um, but yes, I was think I was looking for the wall dividers and I found them. Mm. I'm not too sure about the color I chose, but I kept with it anyway. Um, I did put that small fireplace in there again. And I put this really- I don't know about this chair that I'm about to put in here. I don't know about it. It's kind of funky looking. But it also kind of worked, I don't know. I was trying to make it like a little bit romantic, you know? It's like a more intimate setting and whatnot. But I ended up getting rid of those candles and just putting in lights behind the chair. Or couch or whatever you would call it. I think it's supposed to be a couch. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be a couch, but okay. Um, I think that I'll definitely have future plans for those. Because there's, I think there's a lot you could do with it, um, design-wise. And this bathroom is pretty much just plain Jane. I really don't do a whole bunch. Everything, every other bathroom is, like, really nice. And has that talking toilet, which I have yet to use. I'm actually really looking forward to that. <laughs> um... And as weird as that sounds, I thought that was so hilarious for them to add in a talking toilet. Um, so this is the backyard, and I really like how it turned out as well. I put a pool in, and I use this, use the, um, with the greenhouse, uh, it's not really an awning, but if you see what I mean, I put curtains around it, or, yeah, kind of like around it to make it like a little bit more private. Um, it also took me forever to find the wall dividers again, so I ended up editing that out and making it shorter so you wouldn't have to sit there with me trying to find something. Um, but I don't, and I do end up putting white curtains around it, and I think it looks really nice. And I put some couches, and uh, the porch really isn't anything special. Um, I don't do a whole um, I don't move a whole bunch with it, and I'm sorry for that, I was just, like, tired, and I, I have this, I did this build all in one day, so, um, I built this today, and I'm recording today, but I'm uploading tomorrow, um, yeah, you can see what I did here, I think it's sort of like a greenhouse kind of thing, I think that's what it was supposed to be meant for. Um, but I do like it. I did that in a different build. Um, I don't remember which build that it was that I did this to. But I used red curtains, and I think that these work a heck of a lot better. I think these are the new curtains. I think these are new. Yeah. But I like them. Uh, the gardening's pretty plain and simple. Um, but yeah, we are getting really close to the screenshots now, guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed this build. And, uh, let you go get it off the gallery. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for weekly listens for videos. And thank you to Tusker Gaming for making my thumbnails. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!